Hitachi Ops Center consists of multiple products with features that help you administer, automate, optimize, and protect your Hitachi storage infrastructure. The simplest way to create your Ops Center system is to deploy two virtual machines by using the OVA installers in your VMware environment. The first VM uses the Ops Center pre-configured media OVA and includes the following. Hitachi Ops Center Automator, Hitachi Ops Center Analyzer, Analyzer Detail View, Hitachi Ops Center Protector, Hitachi Ops Center API Configuration Manager, Hitachi Ops Center Administrator, and Hitachi Ops Center Common Services which provides common functionality such as single sign-on from the Ops Center portal as well as centralized user management. The second VM runs the Analyzer probe server and the Protector ISM client. The main steps for deploying Hitachi Ops Center in your VMware environment are as follows. Download the software, verify the system requirements, deploy the Ops Center OVA, Deploy the Analyzer Probe Server and Protector Client OVA. Set up SSL, and then log into the portal. First, download the software. Log in to the support site using your support account. Click Downloads. Scroll down and click Ops Center Pre-Configured Media. Select the Ops Center version. In this case, the latest version is 10.9.3. Download the management software pre-configured media. Select I agree for the license agreement and the download starts. Next, download the analyzer probe and protector client media. Step 2. Verify the system requirements. Before installing, verify that your environment meets the system requirements and prerequisites for each OVA that you want to install. You can find this information in the Ops Center documentation. For example, your VMware environment must be running VMware vSphere Hypervisor 7.0 or 8.0. Step 3. Deploy the Ops Center OVA. Log in to the VMware vSphere client to access the VMware environment. Right-click the ESXi host and select Deploy OVF Template. Select Local File and click Choose Files to navigate to the unzipped ISO file. Select the Ops Center OVA and click Open. Click Next. Enter a name for the VM, such as Ops Center VM-Demo. We'll accept the existing location and click Next. For resource, we select a VM in the Ops Center cluster and click Next. After the system validates the resource, we see the template details. Click Next. Select a data store to store the VM files and click Next. Select the network. Here, the VM network is already selected. Click Next. Review the deployment summary and click Finish. The deployment process takes about six to eight minutes to complete, and the progress is shown at the bottom of the screen. Here, we see the new Ops Center VM. To run the setup tool, click Launch Web Console. In the console window, log in using the root account and enter the password. We're required to change the password, so we'll enter a new password, then enter it again. Now enter the setup tool command, Ops VM Setup. We're asked if we want to change the host name from the default of OPS VM. We'll use Ops Center VM Demo. We're prompted for the IP address, enter the subnet mask, enter the gateway. We do want to set a DNS server, so we enter Y and enter the IP address. We do not want a secondary DNS server, so enter N. When prompted for the time zone, press Enter to accept the default. We don't want to set an NTP server now, so enter N. We will set up a certificate now by entering Y. 
Now we enter the required certificate information for an organizational unit, organizational name, city, state, and country code. We do want to apply the settings, so we enter Y. When the configuration is complete, the VM automatically restarts. Step 4. Deploy the Analyzer Probe Server and Protector Client OVA. Deploy this OVA the same way we deployed the first OVA. Right-click and select Deploy OVF Template. Browse to the ISO file and select the Probe Server and Protector Client OVA. Click Next. Make the same selections in the wizard as the first OVA. Click Finish and the OVA deployment process begins. When the process finishes, we can configure the Probe Server VM with a setup tool from the console as we did for the first VM. Click Launch Web Console. Run the setup tool. To apply the settings, enter Y. When the configuration process finishes, the VM restarts automatically. Step 5. Set up SSL. Before accessing the portal, set up SSL by creating a common services certificate and then copy it to each product. After you finish setting up SSL, you can complete your setup by logging in to the Ops Center portal. Go to your browser and enter the portal URL to access the login page. Use the built-in account to log in. In the Hitachi Ops Center portal main window, we see all of the Ops Center products. The first thing to do is change the name of the products to a more friendly name. Let's start with Analyzer. Now register the product license. Let's apply the Analyzer license. Click License Not Activated. The Analyzer license window opens. Choose Key, enter the license key, and click Save. The Analyzer status changes to Ready. After you register each product, you'll be able to manage users and groups, launch products, configure Active Directory settings, assign portal and product level roles, and control portal access. Based on your environment, you can also configure the Ops Center products to work together to manage and monitor your data center more efficiently.